But a lot of executives that I work with now, particularly males, they've actually maybe come from a rugby background. So a lot of rugby guys in Ireland will, will go into investment banking and architecture and construction and so on. So I find a lot of them are driven the very same way. Um, they're very leadership orientated. They're very, you know, uh, project focused, but they, they burn themselves out. And we can talk a little bit about this man and, and I include myself in this bracket. We, we tend to keep running on empty and the signs are there. Like the signs are there. Like it's funny. I have a different uh, car at the moment. My car is getting serviced. But when, when I get into my wife's car, every light flashes up. Like the car is telling her there's something wrong. Now, and it needs me to get, I'm not, I'm not being sexist, it needs me to get into her car and say, listen, babe, this is wrong, this is wrong, tire, oil, whatever it may be. But our body is telling us something's going wrong. Maybe it's our dick isn't working anymore. Maybe it's we're not going to the bathroom. Maybe we're breaking out with psoriasis or eczema. Maybe we're, we're getting heartburn or reflux. But listen, guys, don't wait till you're toe falls off before you realize you got blood sugar dysregulation don't wait till you're having a heart attack or a, a stroke before you say you know what maybe i should lose a little bit of weight listen to your body and unfortunately the focus tends to be on work mode and when we talk about you know energy and focus and enjoyment a lot of people are working for, for money for their family and i get that and you have to be focused on that component but not at the expense of your health not at the expense. You can have the most amount of money in the world, but money will not buy you one more minute of time if your time is up.